Okay, maybe. Well, the poorest of the poorest white people. The poorest of the poor white poorest white people Probably. in America. Probably. We're shown on that show, and Probably. then but, but where you, else? Uh, but you look at the stimulus package, right? That's the, that's the basic thing. The stimulus package does not really help the people. If you keep giving the money, the banks fine. Yeah, the, right, infa right. the infrastructure, mm, you know, know rebuilding why. the cities, help do that stuff. That will send people to work. But only how many people have been skilled labor now? No. One. Over the you last 15, no 20 years, well, people haven't been really learning that skill. People haven't been having to. Learn how to, you know, contractors only hire family members or people they know. Well, so how many, how many people rushed out to learn how to build a bridge? Rushed out okay. to learn how to fix on the streets okay, and shit. Okay, 25% of the 70, yeah. another 75% is fucking ass out. Okay. Yeah, thank you. 25, 25% of the 100% of the people willing to do it. Can only, actually do can it. Can actually do it. And then they'll probably be up in age like 45, 30, what, 37 probably. and up. Enough. You know what I mean? Because, come on, man. So the infrastructure jobs will pretty much be the old guys again going back to work. You know, and I, and I fall in that list with the, one of the old guys getting a job. So, you know, you look at old that guys part. Old going back to work and trying to train new people. But Yeah, what? but 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 that's just one part of the stimulus package. You know, they're helping, that's another uh, whole thing, they're helping the wrong area of people. And like Cindy was saying in her video, the food stamps and all that, that would be great too. But fine. The cost of living is so high. You know, the average American bought a house in California, say, say, just say $500,000. Now this house is $250,000, but that same house in Atlanta is is 80,000 or 40,000 oh, or 60,000 or something like that. But there. but you know, from $60,000 in Atlanta to $250,000 in so California, hungry. But if you bought your house in California at four hundred forty-five thousand dollars, and now it's only worth two hundred fifteen thousand dollars, your in property California, taxes yeah. is still based off four hundred thousand yeah, dollars. Exactly. So where's the logic in that? And then the banks are getting the money and not loaning to. I don't want a loan. I want my stimulus package to be given to me. Don't give it to a bank that's not gonna give me nothing. Give me. Two hundred forty thousand dollars, so I can pay off all my debt. I also want my taxes fucking taken. But Thank you. Put some fucking, put some low. I want to make fucking a uh, hundred bucks instead of eighty-four bucks or something a day. You know what I mean? I want to do something like that. Dude. Yeah, well, the motherfuckers. Well, man. that's the thing. If, if you get more money here in the state of California, Seriously. you know, it, it is a conspiracy to keep people from working. So now they're gonna try to send people back to work. What's gonna happen? The special interest groups are gonna chew up all this damn money yep. and send that, send half the money to, to health care. Everyone's going to need health care, which is also part of Obama's bill. Well, Why in the hell should I have to pay for health care when the Canadians and other people like that in other countries, they got doctors who somehow get paid but give health care for free? What's up with that? How come we can't get free health care? Because if these jobs knew all the employers had free health care, I'm going to hire more people because I don't have to worry about if the guy scuffs his knee. There's no overhead for that. Yeah, so when the guy scuffs his knee, he's going to be out for months. Yeah. It's going to cost me hella money and... Shit, the bastard might not even be hurt. Healthcare should be a government type job. They got the army, the military, and the medical. You hear me? Medical. Think about it. Can medical. you imagine being 17 years old, just graduating from high school? I'm applying for them. I want to be in the medical corps. I want to be a doctor. I want to be working. You know, they don't do That's shit the like that. They don't do shit. Like you know, it's like, come on, man. Instead of teaching us faulty shit, economics. They teach economics in school. Yeah. They've been took taking, it. I took it. You took economics, right? So did you. The same shit they taught you, right? Government that's why economics. That's why shit's fucked up, because the economics are teaching. There's certain things that they should pull out of school. Okay? Now, the history, that should be an elective. If you want to learn how shit was fucked up, how shit gets fucked up, you shouldn't force somebody to learn a history that doesn't benefit them. History's good to know, but you're right about History's good to know thing. to what point? Be elective thing. To what point? To understand how we've fucking been for so long. And then History realize, is a, realize a, how we a record change. of what has happened. That's it. We need, right. we need to teach good. people what's going to happen. Right. If you know what's going to happen, you but can't it, learn. The, like they say, the, yeah. the, the, the past repeats. History repeats itself. Yeah. If, well, you it's teach, good to know. if you teach people a future, they won't have to worry about learning the past. You, you take that analogy. You teach people how to work to better things tomorrow instead of falling in the same rut. That's because you know, though. Thank you. you. Know that history but, but they teach people how, how to fall backwards. 
They, they're teaching people to fall backwards. Yeah. Education in America, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. Flush the toilet on education in America. Education needs to be thrown out the window, retooled, brought back to life. Oh, and our Constitution. Yeah. Flip that fucker out the window, throw some gas on it, burn it up. We need a Constitution that's going to best fit today's standard. Instead of throwing a Band-Aid on something that's been written in the 1800s, you need to rewrite the whole entire Constitution so the work. corporations, <laughs> yeah, put lawyers out of work. Yeah. So the corporations don't fuck people. Because yeah. I can build something, be gracious. I can build a machine. It's called Save Humanity, the Save Humanity machine. You walk up to the machine, tell the machine, you know, I have a problem. You know, I got cancer in the machine. Do, 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 do. Give me a blood test. You give the, the machine a blood test. Blood test kicks out. Eat three apples, two bananas, or orange. For a sit outside year. for three hours in the Something rain. Like that. Something like that. Go back in the house. Put your foot in warm water. Your cancer be cured. They blow the machine up before the first person could tell the problem. Because the machine would save the world. Therefore, hey, if the machine will save the world, the world don't need the machine. Because this world so is not machine, set up to man, be we saved. Created the machine. Well, see, that's the point. They're talking about spending trillions of dollars on a computer that can learn everything about everything because of all the stuff that computers can do. Right? But yet still... You got Johnny living down the street under the bridge, and if Johnny brings his ass up at the wrong time, Johnny's going to jail. He's got a warrant for some damn car that he does not own. They're looking for him for child support. Come on, man. If we put people in position to go to jail for every little piddly thing in the world, that's it'd be the piddly. transition we have to fucking come. That's why we're here right now in this fucking time. We have to fucking. There's a transition right now that's going on. You know what? We need to fucking be stable with it. They will not allow us to rebuild the future because they're too busy trying to make us relive the past. They're going to make us relive the past again. Yeah, I heard about them FEMA camps up there. I wonder wonder if Obama's plan don't work, we're going to be in FEMA camps. You've never been to Yosemite? The Germans will take you there. (laughs) Shoot. You know? Yeah, we can go to one of these uh, military camps at the National um, Park. You know what I mean? United States government National Park military camps. For when oh, this big old... Rush, rush report, yeah, exactly. For this, for when this trillion dollar plan fails, because Americans aren't going to get the job. Pays these motherfuckers? Exactly. When Halliburton... What we got a prison system for? When Halliburton comes in and takes over the police and shit all across America. Blackwater police officers walking through the streets... Just like the private police uh, officers in oh, Oakland. Man. Any polite police officers. Thank yeah. you. Because, see, right now in this budget crunch we have in California, they're laying off police officers. Yeah. But yet, not, yet Arnold Schwarzenegger is going to lay off 20,000 people right before the stimulus package comes. They're not giving no stimulus for the states, but they can go fucking help these corporations yeah. right off the if top. If they're going to lay off fucking police officers, they got to fucking give the money to the teachers. Fuck it. 20,000 motherfuckers. 20,000 people. Listen, 20,000 people are going to be laid off for work. We're already losing jobs, right? They're going to release they're going to release 54,000 people from prison. Sex offenders and drug abusers. Woo! 54,000 yeah. plus 20,000. And they're taking police officers off the street. How do you 76,000 people out of work. Well, On top of the 147,000 people out of work already. Come on, man. Let's go to jail. <laughs> yes, they will create chaos. Let's go to jail. So chaos will be created, and until this plan works, hey, I th- the only thing I think flawed with this plan, honestly, is that the American people do not have the choice to do with their money. I'm 40 years old, and like I said, I, I broke it down they're into a pay you scale. Home. You take this money that they're given to corporations and states and whatever, blah, blah, and you split that money up, amongst the American people and you come up with a number and you base that number on age all the way down and you see if the American people have the money first of all the banks that are going out of business they will hit rock bottom if they're any good when every American got their money to stimulate the American situation those banks who gave respect they would survive those realtors who didn't do nothing crooked, they be paid off. Ooh, where? I don't see a not crooked fucking banker in the world. 
Well, there no crooked, non-crooked. There's no non-crooked bankers, and they're getting them some more money from Barack. Yeah. Drop the bomber. Who the one who said? Yeah. He ain't giving them shit. I'm sorry, um, but I hope this. Hey, if you found any knowledge in this passing on. I'm serious.